so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I see what happened. I see what happened. Because it went to YouTube Live, then my live was open and it started playing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my crazy life. Okay. So, so I'm going to just record it here and then we can send you the recording. Okay. Because it's, it's a little crazy <laughs> to go back and forth. Okay. And I will fix the problem before, <laughs> before we have class again. So welcome back. Hello. Let's um, think about um, how you answered that question from last week. Okay. And what we're going to do next is listen to an answer that got a full four points for that particular question, okay? So let's just see what this particular student had to say. And from there, um, we'll just see what you think about his answer, okay? So we're gonna listen to it now. I actually only spend time with my friends in restaurants and cafes, uh, almost never at home because um, my apartment is very small and, there is just almost nothing to do um, on the outside and um, in cafes and restaurants. It's much more, uh, there are more people. The atmosphere is usually good and maybe there's some music playing or we usually meet to discuss things and meet other people and meet people we do not know. Possibly there's always a chance to get to know someone. It is always exciting. For me, it is much more exciting than just staying at home. Um, and in the in the environment that I know and I'm familiar with, I think it's boring. All right. What did you think? Yeah. Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Could you could you hear his points pretty clearly? Yeah. Could you hear how he organized it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that example got a full score of four points. Okay, and if you listen to him, he doesn't. It's it's not a hundred percent perfect. His his um, you know the pattern with which he talks. Okay, he hesitates a little bit, but he just tries to keep going, um, and he does. He does say some things that I didn't 100% understand, but um, I think he makes some good points about what he thinks about this topic, okay? So just to give you that example that this is a really natural way to answer that question, if using this formula sounds too much like a robot, you don't wanna sound like a robot, okay? You wanna to try to give your answer as, as naturally as possible. Um, then just try to talk through your ideas as clearly as you can by yourself, okay? My okay. suggestion, my suggestion, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we are not on in a live on the Facebook, just to remember you because we have to kick off. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do we want to have feedback again <laughs> from another group? <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, thank you. This is this is my crazy life. Welcome. <laughs> thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so from that example, do you kind of see that um, how how naturally he spoke? And what I'm saying is, if if the formula or the format doesn't work for you then just speak as freely as possible, but but support what you have to say, okay? Make a statement and then support what you have to say as, as best as you can, you okay? Yeah, okay. Some, some people like to have a formula and say like, okay, I have to say this and then this and then this. Maybe that helps you organize your, your ideas quickly 
but if that's too much, if it's too too boxy or too too narrow for you, then don't use that. Okay. Um, we're gonna practice one more time with the independent speaking task. Um, and I just want you to try out either way, whatever way you think is gonna work for you. Okay? Everybody okay? Yeah? Okay, so I have one more question for you to try for the independent speaking task. And what it's gonna ask you is something similar to that, but it's going to be your opinion and you have to support it. Okay. And what I thought we could do is again with your partner, go into your groups and just try for 15 seconds to get ready to answer this question. And then 45 seconds to actually answer this question. You can time each other on your phone um, and please listen. And if you have suggestions or you want, want to compliment your partner for the good points that they make, please do that as well. Okay. So we just did this. So let's let's practice one more time. So today's question is, what do you think? All right. So I'm going to read it to you. Then I'm going to send you into your groups. You're going to take 15 seconds to prepare. And then you're going to take 45 seconds each to try to answer this question. Okay. So here we go. What do you think your life will look like after retirement. Use reasons and details to support your response. I'll read it one more time. What do you think your life will look like after retirement? Use reasons and details to support your response. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the chat for you so you have it. What you're gonna do next is go with your partner and you're gonna try to think for 15 seconds and then answer the question for 45 seconds. Everybody okay? Yeah, good luck. And I will see you soon. And you're gonna be in a different breakout room because, <laughs> because we, we had to come back. So, <laughs> all right, let's just go with it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, have fun. <laughs> okay uh i think my life will be great uh after i got retirement um first of all because i want to live at nearby the beach so i will be living in a small city with great quality of life but it time we're here chronometer yeah. to Try and, and do on time. Oh, how much time do we have? Do we uh, have? Six seconds, more or less, 45. But um, well, it's here. So I'm going to start now. Well, I believe uh, when I get retired, I will be traveling all over the world. Why? Because I work so hard and I save lots of money so I can do it. And my, my son will be old enough to take care of himself. So my husband and I are going to travel and I will fulfill a dream to go far away as Japan. So this is what I'm going to do when I retired. And for that, I also, I almost disagree with myself, but I, I, I thought it was easier to say that my, I will be fine, you know? <laughs> I, I have a doubt. Um, can we present different perspectives or do we have to choose, actually choose one of them to, to, to present it? You, you can choose. Um, you can say that you support or don't support. You could say that. You just have to say that right at the beginning. Like, I, I agree with some points and I disagree oh, okay. with something like that. Okay. Just so the listener knows right away, okay, she's going to say some of this and some of that. Okay? Okay. That's good. 
Um, so, who is next? <laughs> um, I can go. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, Juliana. Julia. Do you want to go? Or you can go. I don't know. I'm very shy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can. <laughs> you can do it. I'm nervous. You can do it. You can do it. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> 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 Let's try together. Yeah. Okay. I think I can go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to start the timer. Okay. I think that in in my retirement, I'm going to live in a beachy city because I love calm places. And I think I was, I was still teaching math because it's something that I like very, very much. But now I have a notion on that. And in my, so uh, in my retirement, I think I will be going to do to do many things. Okay, um, I I feel that I'm I'm going to still working because I love what I do, so I don't want to stop it. Um, I think I will be running because I love to practice exercise and I want to run a marathon. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to um, travel a lot. And also, I will be realizing a dream that uh, it's open an uh, orphanage, I think, because I have this feeling with children. And maybe more. She gives a lot of tips. She's very, very good. Uh, oh, I will watch. I will watch this channel. Thank you. Thank you for fun. this tip. <laughs> Hi, MB. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Okay. We we finish our task. Yeah. And how do you feel? It's what? Okay. How do you, how do you feel? It's okay. It's yeah. it's okay. It's more okay than the last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, a I lot it's... better than last week, I think. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I, I just uh, from know to be more familiarized with the talk it makes me less neighbors i think yes yes it works for me too yeah, good. Very good. and just when we're in class um just use this time to practice even if you make a mistake this is why you're here to just practice and uh -huh. your partner or your you know when you're in the groups they can help you you know yes. okay. yeah yeah and i think i think particularly for speaking that the more you feel comfortable, the more it will just come to you, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. If you panic and you're like, <laughs> I can't say anything, then yeah. it's harder. Do you think I, that for, I forget form? all that I had studied in my yeah. life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I today I'm I'm more calm and relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that the word core the answers? and listen to that, it is a good thing to evaluate yeah. yourself. Yeah, because what you can do is you can start to see if you support yourself well or not, and you can start to think, oh, right, maybe I could add another example, or maybe I could make this point stronger, okay? So it might be like you might think like oh god i have to listen to my voice and maybe i make so many mistakes don't think of it like that just use it as a way to help yourself get better yeah oh, Thank I, think, you. I think it's a really good idea and i have a um a website that you can look at today i'm gonna send it to you um which makes some suggestions specifically for this test 
um, to just get yourself more relaxed about talking. Yeah. Thank you all. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to come back in a minute. I'll see you soon. Okay. See you. Stars. Hello. How was it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel a little better than last week? Yeah. Yeah. Did you try to use the formula or to just speak freely? Did you try two different ways? Yeah. Anybody want to say? I speak, I try to speak freely, but with the, 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 the two plates in the, in the head, the statement, the beginning, two, two reasons, and support is, is reasons. Okay, good job. Good job. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else want to say how you did? I, I used the formula. I think it's it's easier okay. um, to think like that. So you don't have to think about the structure. You can just think about the content about what you're going to say. Yeah, good job. Good job. Right. And the time constraint is terrible. Yes. Yes. It's going to be, it's going to start ticking down and you're going to start to, oh my gosh, I have to think this through. Um, so Clarice, you had, you had asked if, um, if it's okay to support and not support an idea, I would I would say yes. Like if if you agree with some points but disagree with some points, I think that's okay to say. However, you need to say it right at the beginning, okay? So you need to make the the reader or sorry the listener very clear that you're going to say both. All right. So some of you are leaning like, yes, I think blah, blah, blah. And you're leaning positive. So you're going to say, I agree with this, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to start saying your reasons. However, if you're kind of leaning both ways, just make that very clear in your statement at the beginning. All right. And then try to support each side. Make sure you support each side <laughs> that you don't run out of time. Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry, Hinata, that you want to cry, but 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 let's let's use this class this time to practice and to try to not to panic, all right, and to try out different ways to be successful on this particular task. Okay, so I know maybe you're coming to class and you're thinking, oh my English is not good enough and I'm the, and this person's talking so well and blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's just put that aside for right now, okay? Because you're here because you wanna practice and you wanna get some tips and all of us, including me and your partners can help you get better, okay? So try not to panic and just use this time to practice and, and to try to use these tips to practice on your own, okay? So I want to make a suggestion. I think we're going to run out of time, but I want to make a suggestion to you. Um, and I'm going to put it in the chat, but I will also share it on my screen. Um, so this, this is from the ETS website. And they are, they're talking specifically about the independent speaking task. Um, and they're giving you some tips to get better 
at feeling, not feeling this pressure that you have when you're speaking for this particular task. All right. So if you can develop friendships with people who want to speak English with you, um, some of you asked me about this. Yes, it's helpful to record yourself speaking in English. Okay. So if you have a couple different questions, so at the end of my handout, I always give you suggestions for where to look to practice. If you go through some of those practice areas and you start to record yourself and listen to yourself, okay, you can start to help yourself get better at feeling more relaxed, but also get better at answering these questions, okay? And then I like this suggestion, um, practice speaking for a limited time on different topics without a lot of preparation, all right? So they give you a couple different ideas um, for you to start thinking about, and then to start thinking about how you would answer a question about those or how you would even just talk about those topics, okay? So if you have more time listening to audiobooks or podcasts, um, practice speaking about everyday issues, that, are, that might be a part of your lives as a student in the US, um, just to get yourself speaking and practicing and listening to yourself is gonna help you feel more comfortable, okay? So this, this link is in the chat um, and I liked it because it does give you such realistic things that you can do, some suggestions that you can do um, within you know, just your daily practice for getting ready for the TOEFL test. Okay, so we have like six more minutes. Um, I'm so sorry that it was such a crazy class, but um, I would like to tell you a little bit about the integrated speaking task, which is what we're gonna talk about next. Is everybody okay if we move on or would you like some more time on this topic? You okay? You okay? Yeah, okay. So let's, let's just look and see about the next type of speaking task that you're going to have, okay? And this is called the integrated speaking task, okay? Um, this is where you're going to have either reading, listening, plus speaking, or you're going to have listening plus speaking, okay? This is where the time changes a little bit. It's a little different from the independent speaking task. Um, but it's going to um, ask you specifically about some information that they are giving you, okay? So in the one that I wanted to practice today, we're going to run out of time, but you would have 45 seconds to read, then you would have a listening for about 60 seconds, and then you would have to speak um, for 60 seconds with a 30-second preparation, okay? So this was going to be today's challenge. However, we did not make it there, but I just want to go over some of the key points to be successful for this particular task. This task is not asking you your opinion. So the other task is asking you from your ideas, what do you think, right? This task is going to give you information in a reading. It's going to give you information in a listening. And you have to answer the question, which is often, what is the speaker's opinion about blah, okay? So keep that in mind that this is more your understanding of the English, but not necessarily your understanding of the topic overall, if that makes sense, okay? So what you're listening for is a little bit different from what you would be speaking about in the independent task, okay? You can always take notes for this section, okay? Um, I would say try to take good notes, which means that you're writing down the key points. You're trying to see what the writer or in the reading or what the speaker said very clearly. So just as I'm suggesting to you that um, we should talk in a certain format, a lot of the lectures will talk in a certain format. And what I mean is they will give you the main idea right at the beginning. 
And then they're going to give you some examples or some, some support. So what you're doing is you're listening for those key words. You might hear the professor say, today I'm gonna to talk about blah, blah, blah. You know right away that's the topic, okay? And then they're gonna say, first, I think blah, 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 okay? And you know right away, just like you just practiced, that's the first reason or that's the first point, okay? So if you're taking notes, you're gonna to try to organize that and take those notes down in a certain order, okay? So um, because in English we talk and these examples are quite in a linear way, please use that to help you, okay? Use that to help you take notes and use that to help you be successful with this particular task. Um, you might have to find the differences between the reading and the listening. So in this part, the reading is going to give you some background information. The listening is going to give you someone's opinion about the reading, okay? Or an example about the reading, okay? So if that helps you to think about it, so whatever you read, maybe you don't really understand the topic, but you understand that this person in, this, in the listening part agrees with it or doesn't agree with it supports it or doesn't support it, okay? So use the reading to give you a little bit of information, listen to the listening part and try to, try to figure out if this person is supporting it or not, okay? Usually the question then asks you about what does the speaker say, all right? So you're gonna to have to answer the question very specifically, all right? So just, just kind of take that in your mind for a moment. So this is measuring your English, your understanding of English. The reading is gonna give you background information. The listening is gonna say someone's opinion about it, okay? And then they're gonna ask you a question, which is often about what the listening, what the, li what the speaker said in the listening, all right? And think about it in the same way. They might say, oh, I really hate that blah, blah, blah. You know right away they didn't like it, okay? And then they're going to say their reasons. You just have to listen for the keywords to point them out, all right? Just like you did when you practiced to give your own little speech, you're going you're gonna to hear that kind of format come back to you, all right? <clears throat> so you might answer the question by saying something like this. You might answer the question by saying something like this. The reading states or the reading says <clears throat> that blah, blah, blah. And the professor or the woman, the man feels the same way, okay? Or the reading states that blah, blah, blah. However, however, the professor, the man, the woman thinks the opposite, okay? So just pay attention to the words and, and however. And you're supporting, they have the same idea. However, they're changing to another idea. They disagree or they do not think the same way, okay? And then you might say something like, one reason why the blah, blah, blah feels, thinks, disagrees with this is because, and you're gonna pull that idea. What did they say? What did they say? Oh, I hate chocolate because, and then they started listing their reasons, okay? You're gonna say exactly what they said. You do not have to think of a new reason. You're just gonna use the information that they give you, okay? You can also follow that up. Another way to start it off could be um, the first reason why the blah, blah, blah it, with this is because Okay, you can use that formula as well, all right? And it just keeps going. Um, another reason why, this is just an, the second reason why, these are just examples, okay? So I'm gonna stop right there. We're gonna pick up with this next week, but I wanna make sure that you have the handout from today, okay? Um, and I wanna point out a couple different things so you have it. Okay, so 
this is in the chat right now, and I just want to show you a couple different things. So everything that we talked about today is on here. Um, we didn't get as far as we could. That's okay. Okay, these are just the review. You had this on the last one. This is a possible format for the independent speaking task. Okay. This is what we practiced. All right. This is the answer. Sorry, this is the answer. Okay. If you want to listen to it again, it starts at three minutes 50. If you want to listen to the answer again. And then we're going to move on to, um, sorry, this was another practice that we did about the independent speaking task. And this is what we were going to start today. Okay. So you're welcome to take a look at this. We are going to practice this task next week. Okay. And we'll spend a little bit more time on it so that um, you can have an idea of how to answer those questions really easily and very clearly. Okay. Remember that the independent speaking task is your opinion. The integrated speaking task is either reading, listening, and speaking, or listening and speaking. And you're going to have to you're going to have to um, give the information that they shared with you, all right? So some people think the integrated task is very hard, but you do not have to give your opinion. You're just sharing what they shared with you, okay? So we will we will go over that next week. Thank you for hanging in there with this <laughs> interruption today. Um, I think some of you are coming to the next class. I, I'll be looking forward to seeing you um, and please take care and thank you so much. Okay, have a wonderful day. See you later, hopefully see you later. Okay, good night, see you. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I was thinking about talk to Renata, but she she <laughs> okay. because I I was in her class, but okay. it's fine. It's okay. all right. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. See you. Bye.